Hello YouTube. People have been asking me about my uh, arm cannon that I built and uh, specifically for blueprints that I really didn't use. I kind of had the idea in my head and just built it straight from that. Um, so I'm just going to show you an in-depth uh, look at the arm cannon itself and if you wanted to you know, maybe build one of your own, here's some ideas for you. Um, well, let's start off with the glove itself. The glove has these electrical contacts on the thumb, index finger, there's another one over here, on the middle finger. There it is. Um, and how the glove works, how the glove works is you touch the thumb to either of the two fingers, and that's what sets off the, the barrels. It's a double barrel, uh, so this sets off barrel one, this sets off barrel two. Um, it's really easy to go like this, and that sets off one, that sets off the other. It's real, really easy to aim, because you just point at your target, and bam. That's that Literally, that's all you have to do to shoot. Bam. And you hear that click? I don't know if it's picking that up or not, but anyway. Um, yeah, this contact just has to come into contact with the finger, and bam, shoot. So, shoot, shoot. That fast. Um, I have it wired up from these metal contacts to a audio plug, uh, because it had the three connectors that I needed. See, there's the base, the middle, and the tip. Uh, the base is the power, the other two are the uh, individual shots. Uh, that way when you're inserting the plug into the receptacle, it doesn't ac accidentally set the thing off. I found that out the hard way. Okay, next. Here is... The arm cannon itself. Uh, this is the regulator, well, specifically the great piece here. This is the regulator. The CO2 goes into this little cup right here. Whole thing's powered by a 9 volt battery. Lighted LED switch, just because I like LEDs. Um, well, anyway. Yeah, I use a lot of audio cables. I don't know why they just were convenient. The valves themselves, which are under this protective plate here, there's one there and there's one here, uh, go into this manifold. And the audio cables uh, that went off of that this controls split off into these RCA cables which then run to the valves to control the valves. Um, CO2 goes through, like I said, through the regulator through this little expansion chamber which keeps it um, which warms the uh, uh, the CO2 up a little bit too uh, but it also allows the CO2 to expand uh, prior to being shot. Uh, a little bit gives your shot a little bit more consistency. Uh, we found that if we didn't have the expansion chamber in there, it um, a lot of times it didn't fire right away. There was like a delay, um, like um, you would hit the button, a heartbeat, and then it would shoot. And we started uh, tinkering with it a little bit, and the more the more of expansion chamber that you have in there prior to actually getting to the shot. Um, the better it works. Um, anyway, uh, it goes to the this black piece right here, which is a manifold. Uh, the manifold then goes to each individual quick disconnect, which is where the shot tubes actually plug into, and they are on by these banjo fittings. And there's also a gauge back here so that I can quickly see what the pressure's at. Um, we normally try and go for 
80 psi, which is really nice because it's at the top of the gauge. So as long as the gauge is pointing straight up and down, you know you're good to go. Um, but anyway, the shock tubes are just a piece of PVC with a uh, male quick disconnect uh, threaded onto it. Uh, I actually threaded the uh, the pipe and have it just right into the tube. And that's what the arm cannon looks like up close um, when I'm wearing it. Oh, and for the people who uh, was wondering if this is a soccer shin guard, yes, yes it is. The whole frame is built on a soccer shin guard. So there you go. Here's the arm cannon actually on my arm. The audio connect connector plugs in to this little port down here. Now the glove is connected to the arm cannon and can control it. That's the valve clicking. Uh, I don't have any CO2 in it right now, so it's not actually going to shoot. Um, but anyway. So just putting my hand out like this, and that's how that's all you gotta do to aim. Just pretty much straight down your hand, and look, it goes right where you're pointing. All you have to do is point at your target, say, "I'm willing to shoot you." Bam. And yes, this is a this is a soccer shin guard, um, youth size. Um, the use size shin guard is equivalent to my forearm, apparently. Um, shin guard, and it's just bolted. This I have an aluminum plate here. Uh, this plate is just uh, bolted straight to the. You can see this bolt right there. And there's another one. Um, let me see. Actually, there's a couple of them right there. Um, and those just, just hold it in place. And everything is mounted to the aluminum plate. And the uh, plate, uh, I left the nuts from the bolts exposed on top here. So if I have to get uh, do any work on this, I can just take the nuts off. And it comes, the whole uh, plate assembly comes right off. And you can just work on it. And put it right back on. And it's real, real, real simple to, to work on. And replacing... Uh, or reloading uh, is take one out. You have these preloaded before the battle because you're not going to be able to load them in the battle. Um, but you pop one out. Uh, I usually carry a leg holster that has about 50 of these uh, on me. Uh, pop another one in and you're good to go. That's all you need to do to, to reload. It's actually pretty quick to reload. Um, so long as the tubes are preloaded. If they're not already preloaded, then you're kind of SOL. Thank you all. We'll talk to you later.